Alright guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be ranking every album by uh, the three members of the big three which are Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and J. Cole. Um, I'm sure you already knew that but so we have 20 albums from the three of them and I just want to say I'm fans of all three of these guys. If anything, I probably listen to J. Cole the least but um, I don't think that necessarily reflects um, in the ranking like he's not all at the bottom or anything. But anyway, yeah, um, and before we get into it, just comment, let me know which side of the beef you are on, um, you know, Kendrick or Drake, uh, with this whole big thing going on, but just starting off, at number 28, I have Honestly Never Mind by Drake, and I think it was a little overhated, in my opinion, because there definitely are some good songs on here, it's still not a great album, and when you're talking about the big three, these guys have a lot of really good music out there, and this album just doesn't really stack up to the others. And um, at 27, we have Might Delete Later by J. Cole. This is kind of another one where like, there's some good songs, but it's also, it's just kind of boring um, and it's nothing really crazy. Um, and it's now it's just kind of got me hoping that um, the fall off is nothing like this um, from J. Cole. And at number 26, I have Dark Lane Demo Tapes by Drake. Um, I mean, it was just like a little mixtape from Drake and there's some filler on here and some you know, pretty mediocre tracks, so it brings it down. And at 25, I've Certified Lover Boy by Jake, so another Jake album. And this one, I think at the beginning, when it was first released, it was overhated, and now it's kind of like overrated because people have started to turn around and um, start saying it's like their favorite Drake album or they're just their favorite album. And I'm like, that's kind of crazy because there's a lot of bloat on here. There's a lot of tracks on here that I'm fine if I just never heard them. Uh, to be honest um, but yeah overall some bangers some misses so just a decent album and at 24 I've so far gone by Drake this is his first mixtape that was on all streaming platforms and then at 23 overly dedicated by Kendrick Lamar which that is his first mixtape on streaming platforms and then to 22 for all the dogs by Drake this is his newest album and again like a lot of Drake's newer albums there's just a lot of bloat, but there is a lot of good, and if you could just cut it down, it'd be a much better album, but the the filler kind of brings it down. And at 21, possibly the definition of a filler album, uh, Scorpion by Drake, just way too many songs on here. Many bangers again, but just way too many songs. Um, could have been a much better album, to be honest. And at 20, I've Thank Me Later by Drake, so this is his debut studio album. And um, yeah, it's a really solid album from this point, like every album is really good in my opinion. At 19, I have K.O.D. by J. Cole. Um, and this one kind of goes with number 18, The Sideline Story by J. Cole. I didn't really know which one to give the edge to go above, but I ended up going with The Sideline Story. But yeah, those two are pretty much tied um, in my opinion. And at 17, I have Her Loss by Drake. Uh, this is obviously his collab album with Tony and Savage. And it's a pretty solid album, there's a bunch of bangers on here, but overall it's just, it's nothing crazy, right? And at 16, um, I have Born Sinner by J. Cole. Uh, 15, I have What a Time to Be Alive by Drake, uh, his collab album with Future. And I'm just not the hugest Future fan, so it doesn't go up too high for me, but overall I do think it was still a pretty solid album. And at 14, I have Untitled Unmastered by Kendrick Lamar. This is obviously just like his eight tracks that were kind of cuts from to Bimp a butterfly and it's still a great album despite it being just leftovers and at 13 i have section 80 by kendrick Lamar. this one it was kind of like tied for me with um untitled unmastered and the next one which is number 12 mr morale and the big steppers i ended up giving mr morale the edge above it um and that's just kind of because i think i've came back and revisited that one more than I have to section 80 and maybe that's because it's newer but yeah I think um, I've been enjoying Mr. Morale more than the other projects. And at number 11 I have More Life by Drake. This is one of his mixtapes and it is long like a lot of his more recent projects but um, it doesn't have as much filler as his other ones do. Um, it's just a lot of bangers on here but in my opinion it's not quite good enough for top 10. Because at number 10 though I do have Four Your Eyes Only by J. Cole. Um, I mean, really solid album here, you know, cracking in at the top 10. And at number 9, I have Views by Drake. That might have people upset, but 
but um, I don't think it's Drake's best, and I definitely don't think it's better than some of the J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar projects that are still on here. And at number eight, I have The Off Season by J. Cole. This is his um, most recent album, not a uh, mixtape. And um, this one has me excited for the fall off. And yeah, that's why Might Delete Later kind of made me a little skeptical. But if the fall off is anything like the off season, I would be happy because the off season was absolutely phenomenal. And at number seven, I have Damn by Kendrick Lamar. And I think when this album first released, it would have been top five, um, maybe even top three for me. But as time has gone on, it just slowly grown off of me a little bit. So it is now down here at number seven. But at six, uh, we have Nothing Was The Same by Drake. I mean, a classic Drake album, you know, top to bottom, just filled with bangers. Um, you know, not much else to say about that one. And at number five here, we have 2014 Forest Hill Drives by J. Cole. So this is, in my opinion, J. Cole's best album here, the top one on the list. And at number four, I have Take Care by Drake, um, another absolutely classic Drake album. I think Headlines is probably my favorite Drake song of all time, and it is on this album. Um, so that's got to give it bonus points, right? And starting the top three here, at number three, I have If You're Reading This, It's Too Late by Drake. I think this album, while it is does get appreciated, I think it's still underrated. I think it is absolutely phenomenal. The R&B cuts are great. The rapping uh, cuts are absolutely great. And it's just overall a really, really good mixtape. And um, yeah, that is my top Drake project. And the top two, I'm sure you are aware of what they are. Number two, I have Good Kid Mad City by Kendrick Lamar. This is one of my favorite albums of all time. And at number one, To Pimp a Butterfly by Kendrick Lamar. This is arguably the best hip hop album of all time. Uh, no other spot these two albums could have really been. But anyway, yeah, that is my ranking. So. Leave a comment on what you would change around in your ranking, and yeah, let me know which side you are on, uh, you're on on this whole beef. And leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.